it's another day and we're on the mountain working. We're cleaning up and actually, we can go ahead and start building the whole next house with the stuff I got on the trailer from today. What do you think? Yeah, man, we got some good stuff here. All right. All kinds of pieces. Yeah, so we're gonna start today's video with a dramatic reenactment of a conversation from yesterday. This floor is a little bouncy with all this extra weight. Oh no. I think we should do something about it. That concludes a dramatic reenactment of a conversation from yesterday. Yeah, man, I bet if, you know, this whole construction thing kind of goes belly up, I bet we could get jobs <laughs> acting. <laughs> Not a chance. I mean, if people didn't know that was us because they recognize us, they would probably think we brought in professionals. They would probably think we're idiots. So for real, the floor was a little bouncy once we added all that weight and we were actually all standing around that island yesterday and we we're like, man, this floor is a little bouncy. But it was engineered, it's not gonna fail, but we wanted to do something about it. So we're going to build a wall in the basement that's gonna be there eventually anyway when they finish the basement to break up the span of the trusses now instead of later so that this floor feels amazing. Good plan. We do want to mention that in the initial framing of a lot of jobs where we're using like 2x12 nominal floor joists, we do double the floor joists underneath bars and stuff like that. On this one, it was an engineered floor system and the engineer said it would be fine and it is fine. It's just a little bouncy. So that would be a good practice if you're framing your own house to go ahead and reinforce a little bit underneath a heavy island. one in it's a little long so I checked and we actually did push the floor up over here so so sometimes when you think tight's better yeah sometimes tight's worse. just the right amount of tight is good too much and you'll actually move the floor up yeah no good no make good. a hump in the floor no bueno We're using some triple flat headers. This is not load bearing, but we do want it to support these uh, joists just a little bit. So we just added an extra triple. We don't have any other header material here. You know, the old timers didn't always use big two by tens or something for headers. You, right. know, you know what they did? What they would do is they would take a piece of wood and they would make two diagonals that would go up and support the center and it'd be braced off right here over top of the jack almost like a little truss right there so they didn't have to use huge lumber. A few of you may be wondering what is this space gonna be later, right? Are you wondering? What is it? <laughs> so we bought this wall. This is gonna be a future bathroom right here. Vanity, toilet, tub. Over here is gonna be a wall and a future huge closet. And about here back is a future bedroom. And from what I know from here over is a future family room. So that'll be a nice space when it's done. There's our wall. Look at that, that didn't take too long. All is left to do is go upstairs and test it out. I'm kind of nervous. Check it out. Oh. Hey, it feels good. Our consensus is that made a huge difference. Feels like a concrete floor now. It feels great. So, that so was worth, it. worth doing it. Mary's here. Hi. She's been horn swoggled <laughs> by Amazon. <laughs> in the Amazon picture, it looked about this big, and then she got it in person, and it's that big. That's a towel hook. <laughs> What really? Are you? <laughs> Bamboozled. I thought it was uh, for hanging your keys on, maybe. That would, you could keep it and hang your keys. A I'm returning it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, let's, let's send that one back. Here's the actual picture, and I see why you got horn swoggled, okay? Mm -hmm. It looks huge. It looks like four or five times bigger than it really was. Yeah. Such a shame. <laughs> All right. Why are you painting that piece of trim, bub? Why? <laughs> I have to put it up. 
Why aren't we using like a regular piece of trim though? Dude, ask the guy with the name on the truck. I, <laughs> <laughs> I thought we had a piece yesterday. We did have a piece yesterday and I cut it short, okay? I got where you're going with this. <laughs> okay. 81 inches long, right? This time? <laughs> Are we gonna get over this pretty soon? <laughs> I'd be careful of making fun of a guy with a gun in his hand. <laughs> You're right. I'm out of here. <laughs> this video was brought to you by Keeps. Did you know two out of every three guys will suffer from some form of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35? But it's the 21st century. You can do something about it. And you know the best time to do something about it is while you still have hair. Thanks to Keeps, you can visit your doctor online and skip the long pharmacy lines and awkward doctor visits and you can get your hair loss medication delivered right to your front door. Keeps offers generic versions of the only two FDA approved medications for hair loss. They deliver you a three month supply at a time. So you may have tried it before, but probably not for this price. I've been using Keeps for about three months now and I can tell you it's not hard to do, it's easy. So if you're ready to take action, go online to keeps.com slash Perkins and get 50% off your first order. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash Perkins. Oh, there he is. Hey, we're gonna do some closet shelving. Came out of the closet. I did. I'm gonna put these brackets up and for a single shelf and rod, we're gonna do <laughs> 72 inches high and where we're doing doubles, we're gonna do 40 and 80. That seems to work out well for the length of clothing. Yeah. So we're gonna do that. We're doing white brackets, white shelves, white rods because we have white trim. I have to scuff the wall with my tool belt. Yeah, Jones will beat you. <laughs> oh, also, white screws to go with our white shelves, rods, and brackets. Good job, buddy. Pro tip, you can actually hit these home hard enough to where you can actually dent in the drywall or pop the drywall. So hit these in where they hit, but you don't want to like suck the bracket through the drywall. Yeah, you don't want to hammer them home. Nope. Swoggled. <laughs> There's only half the blades in that case. Let's Why did it back. make such a big case? I don't know, man. Genetics. Does it, what does it say? It says ten. All right. Well, All right. Well, better count them. You you got half horn swoggled. You just didn't read, but yeah, you would think there'd be twenty in there. What's this stuff all about? You like spray that on a contractor and he disappears? I'm afraid to try. <laughs> Let's, here you go. You know, you have spray a lot of- a little bit on you, see what happens. <laughs> no way, you have a lot of problems. This will help me solve my problems. <laughs> okay. I've got this many keys to this house right now. Oh boy. That's about four or five sets too many. We need like everything to work on one key, right? Yeah. So, I gotta figure out what's what, but we bought this quick set brand. Is it quick set? It is quick yeah. set that you can rekey your locks yourself as long as you have the original key. And we have all the original keys. So I'm gonna go around right now and try to make them all work with one key. I found my original two keys for this finally. It took a minute. And the reason these don't match right now is they're actually boxed separately and you can buy them with the same code on the back and they will automatically be the same key. But in my case, I bought every single one of these and every single one of these that they had at Lowe's. So of course they weren't all keyed the same to start with. This key is gonna be my master key. So I'm gonna put some <laughs> marker on it just so I know it's the one. You're the one right here. I'm also gonna make a trash key pile so I don't get them mixed up again. That's trash keys. Trash keys. If you wanna make some earrings or something out of these, go for it. Mm, I just like putting them on people's keychains when they're not looking. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> 
Ooh, was that it? The first shot? Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Which way is it? Wow, that was the first guess too. Dude. I need to go down the casino right yeah. now. <laughs> it's somewhere down there. Okay. <laughs> Turn it. 90. Do that. Pull it. New key. Now we just got one set of keys for the whole house. That looks a little sketch. In fact, I think I got one more right there in the back. It's been another great day up here working on the mountain and we're really only about one eight hour work day from being done with this house. And then we have to clean up and get all of our junk out of here and hauled out to our next job, which we're calling the Nanahala Retreat. And we're gonna film it as well. So get excited about that. Thanks for building with us today and we'll see you on the next one.